Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. Welcome. Know that I appreciate you stopping by and spending some time here with me on our channel. I love each and every one of you and I truly, like I said, appreciate you stopping by and spending some time here with me. Um, this is a Dollar Tree haul. Now, I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, it's a small one, but I'm happy with what I found and I'm excited for some of the new things that I found. So without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, let's start with Valentine's Day. So I think I showed you these. It might have been Christmas or it might have been early Valentine's Day stuff that I found um, that I showed y'all that had the flowers on them and I thought it was more geared towards Mother's Day, but they brought these flowers back right here and they've got these bubbles on them so that they don't get squished. But this first one is this like MDF heart and it says, Sisters Before Misters. And with this, it's layered. So you've got your MDF, then you've got the burlap and then you've got the sign itself. It is covered in glitter, but there is little to no fallout. And again, here is your bubble protector for that flower. So this one is Sisters Before Misters. Then there is this one that says, You're My Forever Galentine. You're My Forever Galentine. So this is more geared towards friendship, sisters, which is exactly what I told you about in that one video that I said I'm not into lovey-dovey or any of that stuff. But once I read, and it was from Turtle Creek, that they actually wrote that Valentine's Day doesn't have to be about a love between a man and a woman or a couple or whatever, man, a man, woman, woman, whatever. It doesn't have to be couple love. It could be for the love that you have for your grandchildren, the love that you have for your aunts, nieces, nephews, grandparents, whatever. It's about love in general. And I really appreciated that post because it got me thinking, yeah, I need to stop being so down on Valentine's Day. And the last one is, we will be besties forever. Forever? And ever and ever and ever? Yes, forever. So those are the three new Valentine's Day items that I found. There was some other things out. I did not purchase them because I don't need them. So I did not purchase them. Simple as that. It is what it is. I restrained myself from buying them. But I could not say no to these. And I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> they have brought these out in the past and I found them. And I had decided, because I started thinking about it. You know I have a giveaway going, right? You'll need to go find that video where I talk about it. I decided I'm going to add these to the to the giveaway also. I am. Because I thought, these need to go in a giveaway. They have brought back the... What are they called? Why am I losing my train of thought? Foggy brain. Travel notebooks? No. Is that what they're called? These things. I know they're calling them notebooks, but... What is it when it has like the craft paper in here and you can add to it because it's got the bands. You can add to it. You can take away from it. Is it a traveler's notebook? Yes, it is a traveler's notebook. So they have brought back the traveler's notebooks. Now, these are not as fancy and as expensive as the ones that you would get, you know, out at Michael's or Joann's or any of those places, but they're still nice. And they have this one with the dots and confetti. They have this one that's the floral. And then they have this one that's pink with the ferns. Boots with the fur, with the fur, the whole world looking at her. Anyway, these are the three designs that they have this go round. And one of each, so all three, are going to be added to that giveaway that I have going on that will be ending pretty shortly here. So. If you want in on it, you better get over there and get yourself entered in it. Mm -hmm, that's right. Next up, I thought these were pretty neat. The bad thing is, is that I'm just not a lip gloss girl. I'm not into lip gloss, okay? I feel like it's just too sticky when you close your mouth, then your hair gets all stuck in it like that, and you're like, bah, 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 bah. I'm just not a lip gloss person, but... 
These actually have hyaluronic acid in them, which is really good. So this enhances your lip contour um, and it creates a shine. I picked it up in Fire Quartz and Garnet. This is from B Color. Those were the only two choices that I had at my Dollar Tree. That's not to say that there's not more out there. But at my Dollar Tree, there was just Garnet and Fire Quartz. And this is what they look like. Garnet, Fire Quartz. Now that doesn't look anything like fire to me. I mean, it looks very light, light pink, peachy. And then this one does not look like Garnet because Garnet we know is a very dark, dark maroonish red. And that's kind of like a hot pink. But look, lip gloss with hyaluronic acid. <clears throat> so again, it says hydrating also. I'm not a lip gloss person, but my youngest daughter absolutely loves lip gloss. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to have her be my tester and let me know what her thoughts are on it with the hyaluronic acid. Like, does it help? Does it smooth? Does it make your lips feel better? So there's that. I do want to give you a little bit of warning on this next thing that I'm going to share with you, okay? I purchased the Arm & Hammer, the body wash. I don't remember what scent it was in, but it was an adult body wash. When I got it home, it had leaked. Even though I checked them all, they were tight, sealed, closed. It had leaked all over the bottle, all in the bag. Thank goodness they did not put any paper goods in with it, so nothing was ruined. But be very careful with these. Like, Try to make sure that they're standing up when you put them in your car and get them down right away and put them away so they don't leak. Now this says that you get a bonus 12 ounce with this. And this one is actually the kids baking soda and aloe. This is a foaming three in one body wash and this one is in something watermelon kiwi. I can't tell what that first word is, but it looks like this. So this is for the kids. And Arm & Hammer is a good brand. I mean, it's not a brand that you would poo-poo on. So I went ahead and picked that up so can try it for the grandson. And let's see. So there's that. Then we're going to move on to Easter. Easter is my... No, you know what? Let me share with you these real, real quick before I go into Easter. I love these little notebooks. They're so stinking cute. The bad thing is you only get one sheet of stickers. It's fun to get the stickers, but sometimes they're so stinking cute you want more than just the one sheet, right? So the first one is in this lilac color. They're all by Jot. Okay, they're, they just have them labeled as journals. Attached to the front is your package of stickers. It is lined paper, okay? But look at the first set of stickers that you get. It's got the little tiger, the tiger paw, the pineapple, the bicycle, the little kitty, the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Another little kitty, black right there. Life's a peach. Taste the rainbow. The giant hamburger. How stinking cute. So that's the lilac one. Then there is this like pink with like stars and polka dots all over it. And this one screams disco. Look, it's got your disco ball and it's got a saying that says follow the follow the call of the disco ball. It's got lightning bolts. It's got cheers. Yay. Yes. So those are the stickers that are on the front of this one. Okay, then there is this one again. Take me back to 1985. Vans, please. Checkers, titties. If you're not from Texas, you're probably not familiar with titties, but titties were a brand of sandals that you could wear on the beach that were invented and started here in Texas. And this just screamed vintage 84, 85. I love it. But this is what you get on the front of this one. Full of secrets, the little smiley faces, the peace signs, the lightning bolts, the smiley faces, the taste, the rainbow, the pizza, the flowers. And again, all of it is lined paper, no decorative sheets inside. And then this last one is like a baby blue color. Kind of close to being... Tar Heel color, but not really. Go Tar Heels. And on this one, 
the stickers are very light, very pastel. So hopefully it comes across okay on the camera. But it's got like these gold metallic ones and then the bottom half is like this very pastel like moons, flowers, butterflies. It says dreamer. The top one says head in the clouds and it's got the clouds and the moon and the heart and the stars and the green clovers and the blue diamonds. And again, it's just lined paper. So here are all four together. I love when these come out because I like to see what stickers that they add to it. Sometimes it'll be a sloth, unicorns, rainbows, but there are those four. And they're all by Jot, so if you're interested, those are out there at your local Dollar Tree, or if they are not right now, they will be, so stay tuned, look out for them. Now let me get you into the Easter. Okay. I love that they're doing this. I love that they bring these out for the holidays, I think. The more that they sell them, the more they're going to bring them out. They have the color your own ornaments, okay? I still didn't find the beads. And I want to say thank you to the family member who told me that they were in the San Benito store. I didn't see the, the comment until 20 hours later. I went immediately over there. None to be found. So, wah, wah, wah. I still don't have them. It is what it is. Um, so, anyway... This is an eight piece of the little wooden chicks. They do come with the twine, the strings, okay? So you can color them, you can paint them, you can use them as is, you can take them outside and spray paint them. You get eight of the little chicks. Then you also get eight of the carrots. There's your twine as well. And they're not thin because you can see how thick the bag is and you're, there's only eight in here, so there's that. Then we have the little eggs. You can do all kinds of little designs on the eggs as well. So stinking cute. And the last one, my favorite. I mean, you can even buy the little pom-poms and glue onto the tails of each one of these. They have the little bunny rabbits. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the bunny trail. There's that. Then, for the small little wooden ornaments that you can do all kinds of things with as well. You can paint them individually. You can take them outside and spray paint all in one shot. But remember, since they're so small, when you go to do the spray paint, they're, they're going to go flying. So keep that in mind. Put it in a tight, tight fitted area. But these are so dang stinking cute. So the first one, you get 14 wood pieces of the bunnies. The little bunny web boots. I'm hunting rabbits. Then these are so stinging cute. For some reason, when I saw this, I felt like it's a singing duck. I know it's a chick, but it's like a singing chick. So stinking cute. Look at this. 14 pieces on this one as well. Look. Doesn't it look like it's singing a song? Sing a song all night long. It's just so stinking cute. So there's a little chickies. Then you get 14 pieces of the carrots. And then you get 14 pieces of the smaller wooden eggs. 14 pieces. That you can do. I says you can do whatever you like. I say you can do whatever you like. And I didn't want this to turn into like a stationary haul, but it pretty much is. They also have the hardback books from Jot that are also lined, smaller lines than the than the sticker books, sticker journals, smaller lines. These are how many pages? These are the five by sevens, 60 sheets. Now these are hardback with metallic. The first one is, let's do this. Let's do this. But up bum 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 If you know the song, let me know in the description box down below. Has nothing to do with the giveaway, but let me know in the description box down below that you got this far. Because let's do this. Who sings it? Next one. Great ideas. He has a very rough voice. I have a rough voice. I know I do. I'm not a smoker. I've never smoked a day in my life other than Super Bowl 1985 with the Chicago Bears. I did smoke that day, but I didn't inhale. I was just like nervous puffing because, man, I needed the Bears to win. 
that was my team back in 1985. Um, but other than that, I've never smoked a day in my life. And I know that I sound very manly. No, I was never a man. I wasn't born a man. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but I do know that my voice is very deep and rough. But that singer that does that song that I'm asking you, it's really deep. Let's do this. Let me know in the comment section down below. Next one. Great ideas. So all of them have the gold metallic in the writing, but then the designs are different. So like this one, I don't even know what this would be. Like paint swatches maybe. And then this one is like just kind of like, it almost looks like somebody tore paper and made like a mosaic out of paper. I don't know. Then there's this one that's like a floral and it says, do something great today. And this one almost looks like a snail going, mm, saying, hello. Then there's this one that's got a kind of got geometric it says notes notes and the last one today's big plans and if you want something that's just very sleek very not so in your face not bright I really do like that one this would be nice like for an office so it's not too in your face screaming with different colors Today's big plans. So there are those if you're interested as well. And now I'm going to keep on with the Easter. This is new this year, to me anyway. I've never seen these before. They did have other Easter stuff out that I did not purchase that they've had in previous years. So like they had the pics with the burlap bunnies on top. They had the pics with the Easter eggs. They have brought back, they did not bring them back last year, but they did bring them back this year, the styrofoam eggs that are confettied and glittered and sequined that have like the string for them to hang from. Not a string, it's like a silk ribbon that it hangs from. They have brought those back. They, of course, brought back like the carrots that are with the yarn. All of that stuff has come back, but I don't need it. I've already purchased that and I just recycle it from year to year for my decor. So I didn't pick up any of it. I'm trying to just pick up the new pieces that I see that I feel like I could incorporate somehow. But if it's something that I know that for a fact I won't use, I'm not going to be purchasing it. Again, I'm still looking for the beads. I would use those, but I haven't found them. So these, you get a set of two with that satin string, which is what I'm telling you is on the styrofoam eggs also. They are these like pallet looking or faux shiplap looking eggs. And they came in yellow, two of them. Baby blue, two of them. And then the beautiful pastel pink, two of them. And what I was thinking is on these, if you have a Cricut, which I do, I have three of them. Have I used any of them? No, but I do have three of them, maybe four. Um, wouldn't this be cute to purchase these and then put names of children or family members or last names or happy Easter. I mean, there are so many ideas that you could use with a Cricut machine or you don't even need to have a Cricut machine. You can go buy those, um, you can go buy the transfer stickers and go to town with that. Next thing that I picked up, I thought this was so cute. And last year I paid a company to come and egg the house. <clears throat> and you're thinking to yourself, why would you egg your house? Let me explain. So there's a company here in our town <clears throat> that will egg your house. What that means is they come, they put bunny with chalk, they put bunny footprints along your walkway, driveway, pavement, sidewalk. Okay, they put the little bunny prints, then they throw plastic eggs all in your yard with candy inside of them, and they put a sign in your front yard that says that you've been egged by the Easter Bunny, and then you also get a door hanger that is personalized for the child or children that are in your home. And... Um, it was so cute, so fun, and the little 
bunny paw prints that they put on the sidewalk almost looks exactly like these. So when I saw these, I thought maybe I can carry it, carry it on like if it came in the house and then leave their Easter baskets as well. So all it is is just this little pack of, you get 10 pieces of these bunny prints. Don't mind the glue. Some glue got, some sticky tape got stuck on them from another package. But yeah, aren't these so cute? They're felt bunny prints. So I thought if they do the chalk up to the door, right? These can come into the door and then end right where their Easter baskets are. But then again, for all you creative, and I know there's a lot of creative ladies and gentlemen out there, I'm sure that you can find a thousand DIYs to do with these as well. So there's that. And then they've been bringing these out for just about every holiday. Sometimes they're in chalkboard form or like in, in black. Sometimes they're in unfinished wood. Sometimes they're in colors. They have brought back these, you know, wooden tall signs, if you will, for a lack of a better word. The first one is the bunny rabbit. Let me see if I can hold it up here. There you go. So that's got the silhouette of the bunny rabbit and it's in the, just to me, I would say that this is just a basic wood piece. And then they brought it out in the Carolina blue, but it's got the, I'm trying to get the pack the packaging out so that you can actually see it. It's got the silhouette of the egg. I'm trying to put it with the wall so that you can see it. There you go. See it? No, you can't because my arm's blocking it or the tag is blocking it or something. The egg. So the bunny rabbit silhouette and then the egg. And this, like I said, is like a Carolina Tar Heel blue color. And then this is just original wood. I mean, it's got some like tile, like wooden tile floor look to it. It's not complete, like just plain wood. You know what I mean? It's got the grain, wood grain. That's what I'm going to call it. This is the wood grain and this is like a Carolina blue. So again, get your Cricut. You can write Carter family. You can put Selena's family. I mean, whatever. You can put Happy Easter. You can put Easter 2022. You can put, I says you can put whatever you like, but you can use your Cricut or you can use those um, stickers that transfer, transfer stickers. Um, that is it. I told you it's small. Small haul. Very small. That is it for this haul, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comment section down below. The bell, the bell is saving, y'all. Um, let me know if there's something I should be looking for. I'm still, like I said, looking for the beads. Again, I'm not going to buy 48 bead, like of those beads just for one of each that I need. So, not going to happen. So, I'll just keep looking. And if I don't get them, oh well. Won't be the first time I miss out on something at Dollar Tree will not be and i'm sure it won't be the last <laughs> so make sure you talk to me in the comment section down below i love hearing from each and every one of you i don't always answer all the comments but i do read every single one of them and know that i appreciate and love each and every one of you don't let anybody tell you different also if you could be so kind to hit that thumbs up it lets me and youtube know you like these kinds of videos it also helps me immensely here on youtube to get referred and suggested out so that new friends and family can come to the channel and who doesn't like a big family? I know I do. As long as they're good to you and you're good to them, it's all good, right? It's all good in the hood. Also, if you are not a part of the family, we'd love to have you. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Free of charge, just hit subscribe. You're part of the family. And also, there is a bell next to it. Hit that so that you get notifications as to when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.